heard you the first time. I know you're in there, I'd go. I can feel your dress seeping through the door. Yeah, my landlady. Maybe she didn't see me. I gotta find a new place with a peephole. And a back exit. And a moat. And a better looking landlady. Oscar, I can hear every word you're saying. Open up, or I'll break this door down and charge you for the damages. Hey, baby, you're looking good. Those algae treatments are really working out. That crusty thing around your eyes almost cleared up. Don't try to sweet talk me, you greasy, bubbly little freeloader. You owe me three months back rent, and I'm in no mood for your cut rate brand of charisma. <laughs> you crazy. I got a hot tip on a seahorse today. I can't tell you the name, but it's lucky day. When that sweet baby comes in, you and me are gonna have a nice candlelight dinner for two. We'll get us some escargot, and maybe a harpist off in the corner. Really pretty. Gorgeous even. Her shapely white scales glistening like molten fur. Oscar, I have had it up to here with you. You are evicted! Vamos! Or I call my cousin with a big pizza claws and eye stalk to show you what happens to those who do not buy moose when so instructed! <laughs> I like you when you like this. Spicy. Good morning once again, Reef City. I'm Katie Current and you're watching C9 News. Not just Reef City's only TV news, but its second highest rated. Our top story tonight, you've just been evicted. You're out of money, out of luck, and out on your butt. Uh, tail, did someone proof this copy? Man, she threw out my whole CD collection. In music news, a rare collection of CDs was found by a hermit crab named Crazy Joe. He was quoted as saying, I got three things to say! Ha! 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 That's all, folks. Sounds like Crazy Joe. I better get a move on. You can look around by moving the mouse and swim by holding the left mouse button. Use the right mouse button to dart forward and smash things. And now here's Stan with the weather. It's gonna be another wet one today, Katie. Hey, Sykes! Just the fish I wanted to see. I don't have time for you, Oscar. I got important things to do, but... But I'm important. Newsflash, Oscar. No one else thinks you're important yet. Don't take it personally. You just can't talk to Sykes until you get some fame. And as we all know, fame is strictly the domain of the talented and intelligent. You earn fame by doing jobs for other fish. The better you do, the more fame you'll get. Try right-clicking on this guy. That icon over his head means he's got a job for you to do. Job equals fame, and fame equals fun. Or so we have. Oscar, aren't you supposed to be at work? Whoa, Angie, you said the W word. So you can't be bothered to do your job. That is just like you, Oscar. Come on, Angie. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be the richest fish in Reef City. Can't get into the details, but today is my lucky day. One or two days of not scrubbing whale blubber ain't gonna make much of a difference. Whatever, Oscar. Just stay away from Sykes today. He's in a terrible mood. I don't think I'll even talk to you unless you've got something really important. Hey! That crab pinched my purse! Don't worry, your pretty little head, Angie. Oscar is on the case. Wait! He might be dangerous! Tonight, on Crime Watch, breaking and entering. Angie's purse is somewhere in this warehouse, which is for some reason guarded by crabs with flashlights. Sentry crabs don't see well, but do taste great with a shallot cream sauce. If you stay out of the flashlight beams, you won't be detected. Avoid the barracudas as well. They're ill-tempered and single-minded and prone to eat anything they come across. Reminds me of my first husband. Guards can be temporarily distracted by throwing urchins. It's practical and fun, except for the urchin. 
Right-click on it. Yes, now. Update coming in. Yes, it looks like you opened a door. A slow news day, apparently. Check that out. They left the purse just sitting there. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Hey, hey, maybe not. There's gotta be another one. So much chocolate. Did you... you didn't hurt anybody, did you? No, I just tied all his legs in a knot, pounded his shell in, poked him in the eye, stop. He might live. Really? Well... Huh. I'll see you at work. What?! You don't think I could take on a dozen crabs with my bare fins? Have you seen me dance? That kind of agility can be lethal. Sure, Oscar. Get to work. And try not to hurt yourself filling the soap buckets, Hercules. Yeah, well, what does she know? I could take on a crab. If I knew how to fight, then they didn't have those claws. Those things are nasty. <laughs> Thank you. 
Money just lying on the street. Go ahead and pick it up. Finders keepers. You can also pick up urchins like this one and throw them at other fish. Just press the space bar. Have Ernie check with Legal and, and make sure we can say that. Oh, and just a touch more paprika on this sometime today. Just like your apartment! time to save your game. See that photo booth? Just swim up to it, right click, and your game will save itself. It's easy, convenient, and a newly installed Instamatic Flash ensures that your saved games are never fuzzy or out of focus. This just in. Your game also saves automatically whenever you start a new mission, leaving you free to enjoy the decadent luxuries of pushing fewer buttons. welcomes race fans and thrill seekers of all breathing methods. The goal, get to the finish line before anyone else. If you're not sure which direction to go, just follow the handy signs or your swifter competition. Good luck and happy not crashing. I've been handed a special bulletin. It appears these lightning bolts are speed boosts. Hit them and they'll shoot you forward with sickening but legal velocity. It's a great way to stay ahead of the pack. All racers with urchins in their possession have been cleared by local authorities to throw them at other fish to slow them down. I guess that's why they call it underground. All right, folks, let's cut to the chase. Three, two, one, go! Hey, I'm swimming over here. Holy simmering halibut! 
It looks like the new guy's just taking the lead. If he keeps this up, we'll all soon be chanting, uh, what's his name again? All right, Oscar! When we say underground, we mean underground! Woo! You can just smell the excitement! The betting is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. When we say underground, we mean underground! Think you're the fastest fish in Reef City? Put your money where your mouth is and sign a release form. Wheels need not apply. When we say underground, we mean underground. The betting is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. Remember, Tuesdays is ladies night. And it looks like the new guy, Mike! And we have a winner! He's fast, he's furious, he's yellow! And he's standing right over there, Oscar! The other races are ready to go. Are you in? Let's cut to the chase. Three, two, one, go! Ow! Woo! Look at that fish fly! When we say underground, we mean underground. Remember, Tuesdays is ladies' night. Woo! You can just smell the excitement! The betting is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. When we say underground, we mean underground! You're the fastest fish in Reef City? Put your money where your mouth is and sign a release form. Wheels need not apply. When we say underground, we mean underground. The bet is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. Tuesdays is ladies night. When we say underground, we mean underground. They're coming into the final stretch, and it looks like the new guy might just He's yellow! And he's standing right over there. Oscar!
a sandwich. You know, whenever I'm hungry or depressed or if I got a broken tail or a piece of fin missing or if my health bar is low, a sandwich always fixes me right up. <laughs> Gotta love them sandwiches. Stay away from me. Leave me alone, Asuka. I got bigger fish to fry. You need to earn more fame before you can talk to important fish like Sykes. Sorry, no such thing as a free lunch, except for all those sandwiches lying around. Remember, kids, only you can prevent ocean fires. You and the laws of physics! Can I get you anything? A bicycle tire? Some old divorce papers? A french fry?
into the final stretch, and it looks like the new guy might just... And we have a winner! He's fast, he's furious, he's yellow! And he's standing right over there. Oscar! The other races are ready to go. Are you in? All right, folks, let's cut to the chase. Three, two, one, go! Ow, unbelievable! Someone's been hit with a sea urchin. Folks, anything goes. Ha! This is awesome! When we say underground, we mean underground! Remember, Tuesdays is ladies' night. Woo! You can just smell the excitement. The event is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. When we say underground, we mean underground. Think you're the fastest fish in Reef City? Put your money where your mouth is and sign a release form. Wheels need not apply. When we say underground, we mean underground. The bet is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. Tuesdays is ladies' night. They're coming into the final stretch, and it looks like the new guy might just make it! He's furious, he's yellow, and he's standing right over there. Oscar! Looking dude, what's going on? We're playing basketball, but I'm not tall enough. Not tall enough? Gone to one. What it really takes is some smooth moves. I don't have any smooth moves. Sure you do. Everybody's got some funk in them. Well, except for my boss and maybe sea cows. Can you show me some moves? Yes, please. Kids, I'll show you some serious moves. Back it up now, give me some room. Busted. No, 
Now, in health and lifestyle, dancing can be a fun and therapeutic way to stay in shape, but requires significant amounts of coordination, in addition to blasting that booyah flavor G-Funk while jamming straight up old school. You see those colorful bubbles rising up the screen? When they hit the three buttons at the top, push the matching arrow keys to pop the bubbles. The more you pop, the cooler you are, and vice versa. Pop all the bubbles of the same color and your dancing will improve. But don't make a mistake or you'll start looking silly. And that can be scarring. The bar at the top of the screen is your cool meter. When you pop a bunch of bubbles in a row, people will think you're cool and the cool meter will increase. Try getting your meter as full as you can by the end of the song and be the envy of bored family members and gullible peers. Now get out there and have a good time! your minds and listen to those first guys I think they were on to something tell us again and we'll decide do yeah, it again do it, do it again, again. some fin. I get it, I get it. You want to keep things on a professional level. You missed your last payment. In fact, you missed all your payments. I hear what you're saying, man. And I'll have your clams for you by the end of the day. I offer my personal verbal guarantee, which you just can't put a price on. I got my orders, Oscar. I don't want money anymore. Really? All right, then. Thanks, man. Well, I'm on roll. Got places to see, fishes to be. 
Oh, you're still paying me back. In sushi. Sushi? Oh, I get it. That's a pretty decent comeback. Actually, wait a minute. Sushi? That's fish meat. Ah, fins don't fail me now. Ah. Hey, stop the game, stop the game. Woo. All right, before you go and get me killed, let me tell you how this is going to work. You see that big shark back there? See that big hole in his face with all the white pointy things? Yeah, that's his mouth. Your job is to keep me out of it. I'm gonna be swimming toward the screen like this. When you see an arrow pop up, that means I'm about to hit something. Move the mouse to get me out of the way. And if you see that jerk trying to bite on me, move me as fast as you can. And pay attention. I am not gonna be lunch just because you saw something shiny across the room. All right, you got it? No swim! No. It, I'm sick of chasing you. I think I'll make me some shark fins. Man, I know you hate spicy food. No. That's why I just chugged a whole bottle of hot sauce. That's what That's what oh. Grab a bandage, walk it off, man. I'll wait. Ow. Why I order? Oscar, get back here so I can bite your head off. You know I hate you, right? Just want to make sure. Yo, somebody get me out of here.
look off your face. Well, well, if it isn't the coolest boss ever. Not now, Oscar. I got way too much on my mind. I gotta skip town for a while, but a lot of fish here owe me some serious money. I can't just leave it lying around. All right, try this on. I go get your money for you, and then we talk. You think that I'm gonna trust you with thousands and thousands of clams? Um, yes. All right, you talk me into it. But only if you help me first. You better bring me at least 50 bags before time runs out or you're finished. Got it? Fish sticks! Hey, it's me. What could happen? Okay, I gotta grab enough money bags before time runs out or Sykes is gonna kill me. Your money. Woo! Ah, well, this looks like all of it. <laughs> what? Did I tell you? It's me. You're all right, Oscar. So tell me about this seahorse. Lucky day, is it? And in sporting and comical injury news, the pride of Davy Jones's ranch, Seahorse Lucky Day tripped and spilled to the turf in the home stretch of the Reef City Derby, squandering a seven-length lead in the process. Track officials are confident no foul play was involved. Circuit spokesman Brillo McGillicuddy was quoted as saying, It's no big deal. Fish trip all the time. On a lighter note, in the aftermath of the race, a number of unlucky bettors seemed noticeably upset. Oscar, you moron! I'm gonna make you wish you were never hatched, you pathetic algae-sucking bottom feeder! Some less savory elements in the crowd even grew unruly as one poor loser was pummeled senseless by a pair of surly jellyfish and reportedly later dragged out to the wastelands outside of Reef City. Track officials remain confident no foul play was involved. He had it coming. Come on, guys! I'm good for the money! You can tell Sykes I'll get it! Soon! He'll believe anything. Just between us, he's not that bright. Oh, it's too late for that, me boy! You and us is going to party! All right, if that's how you want it, we'll do this the hard way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I call this my shrieking wombat style. <laughs> you don't want to see my ball-peen tornado. Scares me just thinking about it. Good choice, boys. I didn't want to hurt you any more than you wanted to be hurt. I'm a lover, not a hurter. <sighs> I don't know if I'm cut out for this, Frankie, but I don't like eating fish. What's it gonna take to make a shark out of you? We eat fish, that's what we do. Bada bing. Hey, 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 what's that?
Hey guys, now that we've established who's boss, I could use a little help with the untying and all. Look, it's like a TV dinner. You think you can handle that, Lenny? Make that proud for once? Sure, Frankie. Uh, whatever you say. Okay, I'll get back to the reef, pick up my paycheck. Wait, I got no job. No apartment. And I'm tied to a rock in the middle of the desert. Now all I need is a... Shark! Ah! No, no, wait, wait, don't panic. I'm not gonna eat you. Fine, I'll eat him. And, and he keeps on coming. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Let him go. Hits his head and he keeps on coming. You stupid fish. I ain't gonna hurt you. Forget about it. It'll be totally painless. Frankie! Frankie! <laughs> Say something, Frankie! Buddy, you are such a moron. <sighs> now I've done it. Pop's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's right. Try to eat me. Didn't know who you were messing with, did you? Well, I showed you. Nobody eats me without permission. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Cause I'm like, wham, pow, kathump. And he's like, no, not the kathump. So I'm all, how about a little on the butt end? Ha ha, give it up for the shock slayer. Woo! Current here with the latest in unavoidable exposition. A local fish named Oscar has just defeated a shark, and that's right, a great white shark, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oscar, the fish of the city have begun calling you the Shark Slayer. How does that make you feel? Well, Katie, I slay sharks. That's my job. I mean, what else would they call me? Were you scared? Scared? <laughs> that's a good one, Katie. The shark didn't even know what hit him. I was like, you want to eat me? Come here, big guy. I got a snack for you. You're so eloquent. Now, about this shark you slew, aren't you concerned that his father, Lino, and his army of fearsome enforcers might seek revenge? His father? Lino? The Lino? The, uh, most powerful shark in Reef City. You know what? <laughs> I think I smell a shark around here somewhere. Gotta go kick him a few times. I'll see you later. You heard it here first, folks. Oscar the Shark Slayer is going to confront Lino and his goons head on. That was Lino's son? Now every shark in the ocean's gonna be after me. 
I gotta find a place to lay low for a bit. Huh. I seem to remember there's an abandoned kelp bed around here somewhere. That sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Behind those gates, maybe. Let me see, if I pull that switch... Sneaking into places be easy anymore. Well, I can't go back now. I keep moving. In stealth based gameplay news, this tuft of kelp is a safe zone. If you hide inside, no one can see you. some bone and pliers and a fillet knife and I'll be out of here in a jiffy. ugly on the outside. thought it was just urban men.
Okay, this kelp bed is nice and dark. No shark's gonna find me here. Except maybe that one. Ah! Please don't eat me! Okay, stop it, would ya? I I'm a vegetarian. Oh, whoa, I know you. You're the shark I met in the wasteland. You tried to eat me. I was trying to save you. Look, I'm not big and tough like the other sharks. Nobody likes me, and now I got Frankie killed. Everybody I know thinks I killed your brother. Now they expect me to fight every other shark in the ocean. I just wish I knew how to slay a shark. Yeah, well, I just wish I could disappear. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, here's the plan. We'll stage a big fake fight in the middle of town. You make yourself look real scary and then take a dive. Everybody will think you're dead, and I'm a hero. I don't know, Oscar. You might be a little famous, but I don't think you're famous enough to pull off a stunt like that. Not famous enough? Exactly how famous do I need to be? You need to make some more friends. Advertise yourself. You know, once you got some more fame, then come back here and we'll fight. Yeah, all right, I get it. Just stay here so nobody sees you. so they don't like CDs? Well, ignore it! cool now, right? I mean, you're not mad or anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what's the plan? I gotta get famous and I gotta get there fast. Get in line, Oscar. Advertising costs money. Lots of money. And lots of people have lots more than we do. Money isn't everything. There's fame, power, uh, chocolate. Well, we can't afford to pay for any ads. But there are some billboards downtown that would look much better with your face on them. If you can sneak past the guards. Wait, 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 what? You want me to change other people's billboards in the middle of the night? Yep, cool. Looks like all these billboards have switches on them. All I gotta do is flip those switches and I'll see my face in lights. Get over time for this! Get out of the 
Elevator! Fish hate elevators, and I'll show you why. My head! Now those other billboards were nice, but there's a big old screen on the side of this building. If I can put my face up there, the whole city's gonna know who I am. All I gotta do is get past all this security.
It worked! Ha! Everybody's talking about what you did to the billboards! You're not just a hero anymore, you're a controversy! Now, to get you a real bad boy image, we'll need you to rob a bank. Oh, no way! Trash your hotel room? Yeah, okay, Ringo, look. 
I'm the Shark Slayer here, and I already got something special planned. I'll catch up with you later. French? Check. Two pounds of blubber? Check. Sea banana? Check. Oscar? Don't you listen in on a guy's plans? What do I gotta give you to go away? Famous enough yet. Why don't you come back when you have more fame? Angie? What's a girl like you doing at a place like this? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you know, you just. You know. Hey, you wanna come in with me? No, I was just leaving. Come on, it'll be fun. You can watch me get famous. As fun as that sounds, well, you know what? I think I will, just to show you up. Prepare to be amazed. Hey, you know what I like about this place? Everybody knows your name. Who are you again? Hey, baby, what's your sign? Whoa, you're a Pisces, too? Hey, Bob, another round for the boys. A toast to the Shark Slayer. Shark Slayer! We love you, man! That wasn't bad. Not bad? Is that all you got for me? You just, you've got so much potential, Oscar, and you just keep wasting it. Come on, really show me what you've got.
Yo, photographer, are those all pictures of me? Yes, sir. I'm headed to the newspaper office right now. You're on tomorrow's front page. Cool, but you're not gonna drop any this time, are you? Sir, I am a professional. I do not drop things. I'll uh, forgive your insult in the name of uh, comedic timing. <sighs> okay, this fool is dropping my pictures all over the city. Now, I gotta follow him around and pick him up before he gets to the newspaper office, or we'll lose all the good ones. Man, stop! Hey, look at this! He's dropping all the good ones! Quit dropping pictures! You know these are worth thousands and thousands of words! Good thing I got a grip on all these pictures. Oh, hold up, Black Bro, you dropping stuff. Hey, Droppy, I like that one. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not it. That's what I'm talking about. Star power right there. <laughs> I told you I'd get them all. These celebrities just don't listen. Uh, yeah, good story. I don't think you're famous enough yet. Why don't you come back when you have more fame? Hey, Oscar, what's happening, baby? Uh, do you know me? Everybody knows you. You're the shark slayer, ain't you? Now, me, I'm an advertising fish. Work for Coral Cola. You heard the name? I've seen it around. Well, we're sponsoring a race here in Reef City. The Coral Cola 600, anybody can enter, but we've got a special interest in you. I'm listening. You win this race and you'll be in all our commercials. I can make you a star. Welcome once again, sports fans, to the Coral Cola 600. This is Stan from C9 News. We've got some of the fastest fish from across the ocean gathered here for this momentous event. And look who's down there with them. It's the Shark Slayer. Gentlefish, start your tail fins. Hey, I'm ah, somebody here. snuck an urchin onto the racetrack. Shark Slayer is starting to pull ahead, but can he make it all the way?
the second lap. This is the final lap. Let's hear it! Approaching the finish line. How you like that, Mr. Advertising Dude? Kid, I say this every day, but this time I kinda mean it. You got the goods. That's what I'm talking about. Now all we need you to do is hold a can of Coral Cola in your hand so the camera can read the label. Uh, what's a hand? This is Katie Current reporting live. We've had unconfirmed reports of a shark. Dum 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 bum 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 bum. Look, it's the shark slayer. Oh, I can't watch. Hey, Link, can you cut the music? It's creeping me out a little. Lenny? Shoot, you really are in a frenzy.
behind it. Folks, this is the greatest news story since the invention of the aquarium. From this angle, it appears that the shark slayer has just grabbed the much larger shark and hurled him to the rift. Ah! That's right, you better scream. And the same goes for any other shark that might get an itch in his fins. This is my city. You want to sharkify this place? You gotta go through me first. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly, truly amazing. I am quite simply speechless. Cut it, I got a 340. Let's roll, people! How's it look? No, my dorsal fin, not my tail. I know my tail looks good, that's why it's insured. Oh, we're on. Thanks for the heads up, Chip. This is Katie Current. We have just received word that Angie, the Shark Slayer's close friend and confidant, has been captured by the sharks. Rumor has it that she's being held in Lino's old ocean liner. The Shark Slayer himself is going to investigate. A chip, see how I use the word confidant? Yeah, it's French. Oscar, you okay in there? I'm fine. Keep it down. They've got Angie in the kitchen. I'm gonna sneak in there and get her out. All right, I'll be out here if you need me. Yeah, that's likely. Whoa, better stay away from those blades. Don't want to be a fish puree. breakfast this morning. I have to listen to another one of those crabs whining. Keep that light out of my eyes. Angie! Angie! You in here? 
Oscar, what are you doing here? Trying to save you? Do the right thing? Work out my character flaws? We don't have that kind of time. I'm in the freezer. The door is stuck. Do you see any other way out? Well, there's a dumb waiter in here. Then get him to open the door. I wish you were joking. It's a kind of elevator thing. You can get to it from Lino's office. Oh, you meant that kind of dumb waiter. Right. Yeah, I was just testing you there. See ya. Oscar, get going! Hang tight, Angie. a lot of unlucky vision here. Hey, there's Lino's master key over on that table. I reload my game. Piranhas are loose! I hope Lino has some repellent around here. If you ever find yourself being attacked by piranha, swim into one of these handy clouds of piranha repellent. It smells bad, but you'll probably prefer that to scores of razor-sharp teeth. Looks like the dumbwaiter switch is over by his desk.
dumbwaiters behind that painting. Oscar, you made it! Quick, we have to get out of here. Don't worry, the sharks have no idea what. <gasps> here she is, the main course. And what kind of a side dish is you? Me? I mean, yes, it's me, the Shark Slayer. Hmm. Well, as you can see, I've got your little girlfriend. If you want her to live through the night, you'll leave the city right now and never come back. Are you kidding? That girl means nothing to me. Oscar! Trying to blackmail me? That's pathetic. You might as well just let her go and face me fish to fish. Well, I would, but you see, my boys just found Lenny hanging around outside the ship. We know you lied, Oscar. You're no shock slayer. You're sushi! Ah! Swim for it, Angie! There's nowhere for you to hide. He's right. It's over. He'll find me anywhere. I have to stop him somehow. Get him on my own turf where I can fight him fish to fish. The whale wash. That's it. Wow. I can hardly believe I used to work in this place. Just another day, one of the whales freaked out on us and we had to pull out the whale trap. Hey, that's it. The whale trap. Sharks can't breathe if they can't move. All I have to do is hold him still. Ugh. But first I gotta get all these machines working. I think I can get in through Sykes' office. This just in. When you're being hunted by a shark, don't waste time screwing around. Get to Sykes' office now! This just in. When you're being hunted by a shark, don't waste time screwing around. Get to Sykes' office now! and find the main power switch. you like my new barracuda suit? I gotcha! 
Just what just happened. Ow! Okay, I see some of us already getting started. some door. Okay, the power's on. Time to get all the machines up and running. I'll get the brush. I'll have a nice shock in there for you soon. You know, that Lino could use a good scrub. Big, greasy old shark. Ow! Hey! 
<laughs> Who's the boss now, Lino? Oscar, it's me, Lenny. Lenny? I caught you in the trap? Well, then where's Lino? <sighs> Can't fit through the doorway, can you? You've been hitting the buffet table lately? That's right. Think you can chase me around? I'm the shark slayer. Nothing can touch me. Woo, yeah! I showed that shark. Ain't no one gonna mess with me now. I'll get myself an even better apartment with two lava lamps and a big old tank full of the sharks that I beat up. And you gonna be the first, ain't that right? Lino? Now, why would I go and do a thing like that? All you do is terrorize my reef and eat my friends. You're also a bad father to Lenny. You don't deserve to breathe. Breathing is reserved for the nice. Ah, Lenny's a good kid. He just needs a chomp to get him jump-started now and then, you know? He'll thank me later. Well, I never thought I'd get to say this to anybody, but y'all got some growing up to do. Here's the deal. I let you go, and you let Lenny make the decisions around here, all right? All right. I've been thinking about retiring anyway. Maybe a nice water park. Free room and board, a couple of dog and pony shows a day. If I ever change my mind, I could just top the tank and eat some of the staff. Shark Slayer, you've just caught Lino, the greatest white in the ocean. How are you going to slay him? I won't. See, I'm not really a Shark Slayer. I lied. I had a feeling. You did? Well, duh. Folks, you've just heard it here. The Shark Slayer, hero or fraud, a Katie Current exclusive. Well, I think he's here. You know, I'm gonna have to tell the truth more often. Better. This is Katie Current, reporting live. Cut the camera, Ari. Let's show these two some respect. Some things are more important than ratings. Just kidding. <laughs> I had you going, though, huh? My agent thinks I can get to acting. I certainly have the fans for it, don't you? Touch this. Katie Current here reporting live from Oscar the Can't former Shark Slayer's apartment. Oscar, can you tell us who you're wearing tonight? The city is a buzz with frenzied conjecture. What, this? This is all me, baby. Now, excuse me, I got some dancing to do. Right from the fish's mouth, folks. This is Katie Current wrapping up the story of Oscar, slayer of sharks, friend of Reef City, and the fastest dancing fins under this or any ocean.
This game is over. Feel free to explore, replay the races, throw a dance party, uninstall, spawn, or whatever.
wasn't bad, but you should see what I can do on a good day. Ah, yeah. Uh, the uh, hermit crab left something in the hot tub. You might want to go check. You might not ever get rich. Mm -hmm. Living is better than digging a ditch. There ain't no telling who you might be. A movie star, or maybe even a Indian chief. Hey, Oscar! Great party, man! Hey, hey, where's the tofu? my pictures all over the city. Now, I gotta follow him around and pick him up before he gets to the newspaper office, or we'll lose all the good ones. Yo, hold up, Black Bro, you dropping stuff. Man, look at me, you dropping all the good ones. I like that one. Let's stop. Quit dropping pictures. You know these are worth thousands and thousands of words. Yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. Star power right there. <laughs> I told you I'd get them all. These celebrities just don't listen. Uh, yeah, good story. Condo is ready. My... my condo? I get a condo? Yes. Mr. Sykes bought it for you. Sykes? Oh yeah, he thinks he's my agent. Now that I'm all famous and everything. So, can I go up there? I mean, of course I can. <laughs> it's mine, right? Of course. It is a little empty at the moment, but I'm sure you can afford to buy some new furniture. today. Sea cow. You again? Hey, a secret hideout. I can build a board, have a sleepover. Ocean fires. You and the laws of physics!
You want a trash can? Buy your own! This is my can! For you, it's a cat! Hey, Oscar! Heard you got eviscerated, man! That's evicted. There is a difference. Well, it just so happens my brother-in-law's got himself an empty apartment! You can crash there any time you like. Wait, wait, wait. If your brother-in-law's got an empty apartment, why are you living in a trash can? Oscar, don't you question the way of the warrior? The street life feeds my kung fu and makes me strong! Hiya! Hiya! Woo! All right, all right, don't hurt yourself. I'll take the apartment. A wise choice, Oscar. Anytime you want in, just come in and right-click on me! Buy something nice, buy something by the break. Cheap furniture is the best furniture. Well, unless you got everything. Just what I always want. Got to do something about my credit rating. Oh, my God. 
Wish I had brought my life. Oscar, baby! You ready to be a star? wasn't bad, but you should see what I can do on a good day. wasn't bad, but you should see what I can do on a good day. Ah, yeah. At the uh, hermit crab, left something in the hot tub, you might want to go Nice. 
Hey, Asuka! Hey, hey, you see that blue fit over there? She's checking me out. What, what do you think? No? Yeah? No? Uh, the uh, hermit crab left something in the hot tub. You might want to go check. Dropping my pictures all over the city. Now I gotta follow him around and pick him up before he gets to the newspaper office, or we'll lose all the good ones. Yo, hold up, Black Bro, you dropping stuff. Man, look at me, you dropping all the good ones. I like that one. Hey, stop! The shark slayer is starting to pull ahead, but can he make it all the way? This is the final lap. Let's hear it!
approaching the finish line. How you like that, Mr. Advertising Dude? Here, I say this every day, but this time, I kinda mean it. You got the goods. That's what I'm talking about. Now all we need you to do is hold a can of Coral Cola in your hand so the camera can read the label. Uh, what's a hand? Back so soon, sir. You can't touch this. I just found a secret, and somehow that made me more famous. Weird. Somebody hid this stuff in here. That must mean it's free. Sleepover? 